the aromatic and pungent, distinctive aroma of tincture of benzoin reached her. She remembered it from the humidifier her grandmother used when Pat, as a child, was sick at her home. The aroma grew stronger as Pat walked, and when she reached the end, the corridor opened into a giant amphitheater filled with what? No, it can't be. For as far as she could see were columns of stainless steel respirators, iron lungs, most full-size, but others child-sized. She shuddered with claustrophobia immediately. Nurses with starched uniforms, skirts to the ankles, stood before each patient. When a nurse spied Pat and signaled with her arm that Pat should come over, Pat froze, turned away, and backed into the corridor.